What is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and today I hope you are safe and I hope you are fine but today we're not gonna be doing a product review but we're gonna be talking about this one as this is not your ordinary Wi-Fi router. This is marketed as a Wi-Fi for thick walls. However, upon checking and digging in a bit deeper, I found out that this is not just a marketing term that they coined for this specific product but rather, there is an underlying technology that comes with it. To understand this better, let us first define what a home plug is. Now, a home plug is a technology that is developed by the Home Plug Powerline Alliance where they aim to develop standards in technology in using our current electrical sockets as a means of our devices to communicate with each other. Now, you see, when you look at this one, it looks as if it is your ordinary Wi-Fi router. But however, this is what makes it special. This features what you call the home plug V2, AV2, MIMO. Now, what this does is it transmits bandwidth over electrical circuits for up to 1,300 Mbps. However, to achieve this, you need to plug this three-pronged plug into the sockets and have another one of these to another socket so that they will both interconnect. This technology is really new to me as I am used to routers just bouncing off the signal of one another or use a CAT5 wire in order to amplify the signal. But on this case, this is a different one. To make this work, a three-pronged socket must be present in your home as the neutral conductor is the frequency carrier. I did some research and it appears that this technology is not new. There are already articles that were written since 2001. However, I am still baffled on why these are not widely adapted and I have a few theories. One is in Southeast Asia, we do not use these three-pronged sockets, but rather we use two sockets as the standard form factor of our electric uh, connections. So that is one theory that I think why this is not widely adapted. Second one will be security. Now analyzing the connectivity of this one, it seems that you are plugged in like a Cat5 on a physical LAN interface. Now that itself can and will have actual security vulnerability risks. However, there are workarounds for that such as because these connections, connectivity of the home plugs are also encrypted and there are also other security measures that we can do like putting in the MAC address of each machine individually so that all of those MAC addresses will be able to access the network using these ones and other ways that we are not going to discuss on this video because it's gonna be taking forever. Now, the third reason why I think this is not widely adapted is because of the power consumption. Now, these transmitting data over the electricity will, of course, use power consumption. By how much? We don't know. I, I cannot measure. But it will actually consume power when transmitting data. And the last reason that is related to number three, the power consumption, is the electrical interference. Now, we all know that in the physical world, there are places or areas where there is strong there are strong electrical fields and there will be strong interferences. So that is, I think, one reason why these are not widely adapted. But if you think that I am wrong or some of these points are right, please do hit us up down on the comments below and tell us why this is not widely adapted even though this technology is very convenient as you will not be laying out LAN cables. You will just use these home plugs in order to use them for your connectivity. All in all, this technology is really viable if in case you are living in a house with thick walls. Instead of putting up another Cat5 line towards another room or floor, Using this mesh setup might be better as you will only need the power source in order to obtain fast, reliable connectivity. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned something about this router right here and about the home plug technology. Please do like this video or share it if you have learned something. And we would like to thank ASUS for sending over their Zen Wi-Fi. This is the, this is the ASUS Zen Wi-Fi AX Hybrid. Okay, so it has it is called hybrid because it can use either the 
foam plug to transmit data or as a normal router mesh or you can actually extend your connectivity through the LAN cable so there are several options but thank you for sending this one over and please do like if you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet and I hope you are safe I hope you are fine and see you on the next video